distinct pleasure of welcoming Jose Luis Silva. Jose, so thankful to have you here with us. Thank you very um, much. It's great to be here. Yeah, this is wonderful. Just so folks have a background on who you are, um, I know uh, prior to, you are the, uh, the founder and managing partner of DUX Capital, but prior to that, I know you were a corporate um, and investment banker for HSBC Mexico's global banking team, which is wonderful. Now, you've started three startups? Yeah, actually a little bit more. Uh, well, I, I, I think that the fund is one of the, of, of the startups. Another two, an ice cream lab with 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 liquid uh, nitrogen, and another startup for for waste management as well. And how in the world did you get involved in liquid nitrogen ice cream? Lab? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I was very close to being a chef when I started studying twenty years ago, and I wanted to enter the market, and so I did that and 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 and, and took out that that spine out of my uh, of my background. And unfortunately, and fortunately, that those two, the waste management, uh, the ice cream nitrogen, they are they are uh, write-offs already. And the good thing is that the fund is the one that it's uh, going really well. So I had opportunity to fail, and here we are. And that's what it's all about, right? You keep exactly. going. So I'm excited exactly. to hear what you have to share with us on the digital tech sure. VC ecosystem in Latin America. So I'm going to turn it over to you. Sure, thank you very much for the invitation and, and thank you for everyone that is connected. And I wanted to uh, talk a little bit about the VC LATAM space, especially in the digital tech. And as you pr can probably see in the, in, the, in the past weeks and months, it's been a very nice boom. That's great for our ecosystem. So I prepared, uh, um, I'll, I'll share a screen because I prepared a, a presentation. Yeah, so very fast. Uh, we we back from my my MBA in Europe and in Asia. Um, I I started private equity, which is very close to investment banking. A, a, a bit different, but very close. And the idea of me starting that in in, in Europe and 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 so, um, and Southeast Asia actually in Singapore, it was to come back to Latin America and create a VC fund that could be. Uh, uh, that could invest in startups across the region, and with the, trying to have it as a as a global and 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 high high standards around the globe. So that's what we did. We started in 2015 the structuring of the fund, and uh, the fund is it, it, fund number one is already closed. Uh, fortunately, uh, well the investment period. So we finished uh, the beginning of June. And, and fund number one, we did 18 investments across all the region. We have investments uh, with Colombian founders, with Mexican founders, Brazilian founders, Uruguay, Peru, the US as well. But uh, our investments will always and had always had uh, a Latin component. No? Either the founders are Latin or their headquarters are in Latin America or they have subsidiaries in Latin America or they sell in Latin America, et cetera, or produce in Latin America. So that, that's the nature of, of our fund, uh, investing in, Lat in Latin heroes, that's our slogan. And we invest in three sectors. Uh, for fund number one, it was technology, especially digital technology, consumer and retail and impact investing. Right now we are opening our, our second fund. Um, uh, we have two offices, one in, in Mexico City, and another one in, in Austin, Texas. And from those two regions, we control the, 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 the region. So uh, we have a lot of partnerships around the region in Colombia, in Peru, in El Salvador, in Brazil, in which we uh, hold and, 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 and help each other to invest and to create and, and still grow this ecosystem. Uh, we invested 250K per, uh, per startup. For fund number two, that's going to grow to $1 million. And one important thing is that we specialize in seed investment. So we participate in angel rounds all the way to series A. We think that that, that particular sector, it's very important to invest as most of the startups failed in that that value of debt, not usually the value of debt is 
it's in the seed space. And that's why we, we want to help uh, startups to grow. Uh, we are, uh, fund number two is going to be agnostic and uh, with the same DNA as, as, as fund number one. So that's a quick recap of what we do. Uh, our portfolio, it's, it's very unique and, and in very different verticals, artificial intelligence, consumer retail, uh, marketplaces, fintech, uh, 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 agrotech, fulfillment, health, uh, grocery delivery, uh, last mile delivery. Even though we have, uh, even we have a healthy snacks startup. So with these eighteen investments, we three of them are already above three point one x, which is our expected return, and we're very happy about it. So why we're here? We want. I want to point out the 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 great. Uh, opportunity that we are having in Latin America. If you guys see the the, the news for the past six months, especially in the, in the past three months, there's been a lot of unicorns going on in the in the region, and that's why I want to uh, talk about the Latin VC industry. So in Latin America, uh, the, the the most important VCs that are very active around the 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 region. I, uh, we we put three of if, if, of each country. Of course, I had to put my fund. <laughs> I don't know if it's the more most important, but certainly we have done a good job. So in Mexico, uh, uh, we, we, Dux Capital, Dila Capital, and OVP are the, the most important ones. Uh, in Brazil, you have Monashis, which is very very important fund. In Argentina, Casec Ventures, it's a one billion dollar fund already, and also Magma Partners in Chile. So. These uh, important funds are helping the ecosystem, and we are very close to the U.S. Actually, our fund has around 11 funds that we have partnered with for our investments here in Latin America, and probably other 11 funds from outside Ameri the Americas, no, from Europe or Asia. So uh, that tells you that Latin America it's it's growing. Uh, if you see this picture uh, 10 years ago, you would only see a couple of funds in, in each country. And now three is not enough to put for each one of the countries. So uh, the number of funds is increasing uh, monthly. And, 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 and that's great to have. No? We are growing and we are very, being very important in, in, in the region. And that's why we're pointing out some of the latest news and startups that in the past 10 years have become uh, more, than unicorn, more than unicorns. For example, Nubank, which actually received uh, uh, an investment from, from Berkshire Hathaway uh, two weeks or three weeks ago. Uh, it, 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 it is the first investment from Berkshire in a startup in Latin America, Nubank, 30 billion valuation. Uh, the Local, another great fintech uh, from Argentina, five billion valuation. Cabac in Mexico, it's a, a, a digital outdoor reseller, four billion valuation investment from from SoftBank, from the sovereign Japan Japanese fund, the largest in the world. Rapi from Colombia, it's a, a delivery uh, platform that received also around that put them in a three point five billion dollar valuation. Bito, Mexican crypto startup. $2.2 billion valuation, uh, the, the, the laser round in 2021. Clip, which um, last week received also a, 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 an investment from SoftBank, which put it in a $2 billion valuation. And 99 Minutos, a $1 billion valuation. So this has happened in the past for, for the uh, moving around, moving at uh, 99 minutes, the last one. The other ones have happened in the past three months. So it's been uh, a, a great news for our region and the startups that, ha that have been growing, very important. And to give a little bit of numbers, in, uh, 2020 was a record year in Latin America for investments and exits. Uh, you need to know that the VC ecosystem in Latin America, it's very young you know, compared to Silicon Valley or New York or Miami in general, the USA, uh, the, the VC ecosystem in Latin America 
has no more than 12 to 13 years. Uh, it's very young. So uh, in terms of invested capital, uh, there's been $16.3 billion invested in 2020. Uh, if you see that in, in 2013, it's, it, it has doubled. In, in, in those years, and, and, and we're very proud of, about that. And a number of deals as well, 653 deals in 2020 for the region is doing very, very well. Uh, fund managers have divested around 11.1 billion in 105 exits in 2020. That has been a great number for our track records. So the vintage uh, funds that started eight to 10 years ago, now are exiting right now, exiting in very good numbers. And that has put Latin America uh, compared for, to other regions in the world in, in, in the top quartile of, of the VC ecosystem. All this information is from the, the Latin America Venture Capital Association, which is uh, uh, based out of, of San Francisco, New York. And, and, and they, they help us report all the, the numbers around the, the region. So uh, Brazil has been the largest and the biggest uh, uh, country for venture capital deals. Uh, you've seen the, 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 the news. Every week there's a, a news about Brazil. And th that is shown in the, in the number of deals and the capital uh, invested capital. So the, 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 the blue uh, spot in, in, in the graph uh, shows that in terms of deals, 59% of Latin America is Brazil. And in, and in terms of capital invested, it's 39%. In Mexico, uh, usually Mexico and Colombia will follow this uh, Brazil. And, 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 and Chile has, has had also a very nice uh, piece of the pie. So if you take Mexico, Colombia, Chile, and Brazil, it would account of, of uh, around 90%, 89% of, of the Latin ecosystem. So we are very committed to invest in other countries such as Peru, El Salvador, este, uh, Uruguay, Argentina, which will help ha have this pie a little bit more diverse. Actually, our fund, will our fund number two will invest in all the countries, no matter uh, which one it is. And it's, in terms of asset class, the, 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 the highest piece of pie in, in, in terms of number of deals has been the venture capital industry, but in terms of capital invested is a PE funds, you know, the larger ones that are investing in series B, C, Ds and IPOs, uh, which are very, very important as well. So uh, from seed to private equity, we think that our industry has, has had the chance to grow and, and whenever you have investors from angel investors all the way to PE, uh, the, the startups and the companies around Latin America will, will have more chance to succeed because if you pour in the, uh, cash uh, since the beginning all the way to the IPO uh, scenario, then, then that's the way to support companies in, in this ecosystem. Consumer goods and services was the industry with the most uh, with high with the most investments and exits in 2020. In 2021, it's been it's been the same trend, uh, but also fintech has had a, a, and healthcare has had a very important piece of the pie. Fintech it's being a boom. You no, know? if if you see, a, for example, Mexico has 100 million, 130 million uh, population. And if you compare that to the rest of Latin America, around 500 or 600 million people are, are, are being involved in the FinTech ecosystem and the VC ecosystem, which has put uh, us as a great, great market to invest in. And in terms of, of, of public market exits of IPOs, also consumer goods, health tech and FinTech have had the largest piece of, of, of the pie. Uh, in the region, we have had a very important growth in the public markets, in the stock exchanges, which, which are growing every day. For example, in Mexico, we already have uh, three different public markets. Uh, we usually had just one, but now we are, 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 are trying to expand the IPO ecosystem, which is the fine, 
was one of the final strategies to exit in the VCMP ecosystem. But we have a, a long way to go. We understand that with, 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 with this large market, we still have a lot of cash and investors and startups to, to work with. I would say that the highest opportunities in the investor side, in the, in, the, in the buying side, because in the, in the startup side, we have a lot of startups, a lot of, 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 of engineers, a lot of founders that are uh, uh, opening new startups every week. To give you an example, in, in, in Lux Capital, which we are not alone, we, we see around 25 startups per week. We have a, a, a data, database of 25,000 startups since we started in 2015. And, 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 and that's just one fund. No? So uh, the, the number of startups historically in Latin America is really, really high. So comparing it to the, to the US, uh, in the first quarter of 21, uh, in the US, in terms of VC, uh, $62 billion were raised. And in Latin America, it was $16.3 billion across 653 deals. This gap, 10 years ago, it was humongous. So right now we're not that far, we're still far, but there's a lot of room to grow. No? Uh, deal activity incre increased 1,735 deals, uh, higher than in the fourth Q of 2020, uh, talking about this uh, first Q of 21. And uh, the, the, the quarterly mega rounds in, in Latin America has doubled uh, uh, in, in the US and in Latin America, it, it has had a very similar trend. So uh, we wanted to compare this to the US a little bit so you can see the, 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 the numbers uh, comparing one to another. It's very important to, to, to tell you that the, the large VC funds in the US are now, most of them are now investing in Latin America, Dresden Horowitz, Sequoia, F prime, all the big VCs, uh, Lightspeed, uh, QED, uh, all the VCs are now investing actively in, in, in Latin America. And that is a trend that it's gonna continue for the next, uh, at least for the next five years. In conclusion, 2020 was a great year for Latin America. 2021 has been amazing as well. Uh, investors uh, on tickets over $50 million, as I said, includes funds as Axel and Richard Horowitz, Dragoneer, General Atlantic, Sequoia, SoftBank, Tiger Global, which are already investing actively in, in, in Latin America. We're very glad to be partners of some of these uh, funds here in Dukes Capital. Uh, new unicorns in the, in the past three months have raised. Creditas de Local, Cabac, Loft, Madeira, Madeira, Vitex, and other ones that are uh, being uh, unicorn status. Uh, 2020 was a record for us in, in terms of invested capital. It, for example, in Mexico, 80, $830 million were invested in VC, and in Chile, $136 million. As I said, Brazil was the highest one of around six to seven billion. And also in early stage capital in, in Argentina, Brazil, Colombia, and Mexico, it was a record for, for the four countries investing in startups, in seed capital startups. And also diversity has been very, very, very important in our region. Uh, a lot of, of, of minorities and, and, and inclusion uh, 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 have, have been around the, the, the ecosystem. A lot of women-driven uh, VCs, which only invest in women, for example, or LGTB as well, are, are being raised in our Latin America ecosystem. And we're very glad about that. So uh, this is uh, what I wanted to talk to you. Uh, in Latin America is a great place to invest. We welcome everyone to uh, not only be part of, 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 of our ecosystem, but also uh, part of Duke's Capital. If there are uh, startups here in this, this uh, Zoom, please uh, drop us a, a line. We will be glad to analyze the startup. And also if you're investors, uh, we would love to have a chat as well. So 
uh, that I don't know if there's uh, uh, any question uh, around our presentation. Well, Jose Luis, I, I'm speaking next, and I would love for you to stay on the line so we can have a little conversation at the beginning of my presentation. For sure, I would be glad to. That would be great. And Jose Luis, where can people find you when they want to reach out to you? So the, the I'm going to put a link for startups. I'm going to put a link here very fast, great. which is the link in which they can apply for, for, for our fund. Uh, and, and I'll put my email as well. So you can have both. If you're a startup, please feel free to apply in, in that link. And if you want to set, drop me a line, I will be very glad to, to have a Zoom or a, any, any type of communication with you guys. So let me just put it here. That's great. That's, that's our link for entrepreneurs. And this is my email. Okay, great. And folks can also go to the speakers tab at the One Business World website. Um, if you if you miss what's in the chat, you can always find Jose Luis and all of our speakers there as well. Mm -hmm.